Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is investigating two different deadly stabbings, both on the city's west side. The first stabbing had happened inside a home on Stapleton Drive. That's on the west side in the Cooper Ridge subdivision. The second deadly stabbing was located on LaMarche Drive in the Normandy uh, Village neighborhood. This is also on the west side. So we want to go straight to News for Jax reporter Eric Avenier joining us live from JSO headquarters with the latest on both of these stabbings. Well, Kent, JSO uh, detectives here at JSO headquarters say the two stabbings were not related to each other. One was a domestic dispute involving multiple victims. The other was some sort of conflict between two people. Jacksonville police say around 3.30 Thursday afternoon, officers were called to a stabbing incident in front of a home on LaMarche Drive, a home described by multiple neighbors as a drug house. All we know is some type of altercation ensued between the victim and an unknown suspect. During this altercation, the suspect produced a knife and stabbed the victim at least one time. The victim was a 29-year-old man who was taken to the hospital where he died from his injury. Jacksonville police say the stabber took off running, so at this point they have no suspect description. What sparked the argument that led to the stabbing is also still unclear. When we arrived, police were seen going door to door trying to get information and even surveillance video from neighbors. Hours before the stabbing, another deadly stabbing at this west side home in the Copper Ridge subdivision. According to police and neighbors, this was a domestic incident involving a man, his parents, and a female friend of the family. One of the victims from this house ran to this house, this house, and that house for help. And the only reason why we know this is because there are blood stains on all three doors. Jean M was not home when it happened, but was one of the neighbors who had blood on her door. What was your reaction when you came home and you found like blood like on your at your door? I was devastated. I mean, there was su they're such great neighbors and um, never suspect anything like this at all, at all. Very, very quiet. Uh, the parents are sweet, and um, you know I would have never suspected anything like this. Another neighbor who called 911 but did not want to talk on camera told News for Jax that a woman who was stabbed in the neck rang his doorbell. He later confirmed a man in his neighbor's house attacked his own parents and a female friend of the family with a knife before stabbing himself to death. Now, what led up to that attack still remains unclear. Reporting live from outside JSO headquarters, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, 